I'm George Brenner, and I'm the Director of Addiction Services for Community Health Network. In Indiana, some of the things that we're seeing, uh, we're actually seeing decreases of marijuana and some of the other illicit substances. And what we're seeing more of are inhalant use, uh, over-the-counter medications and prescription medications. And so again, uh, when you look at the research or the detail, is that uh, your house is a common place where kids get high. So we're looking at a typical home in terms of where you might find toxic substances that kids can get high on. Most people have offices somewhere in their house. My recommendation is that you have your office in, in a place that's pretty publicly available so that you can watch for how things might or might not be uh, that have some potential for abuse. Uh, things like whiteout, cleaning products, computer duster, sharpies. Kids will huff these. This one, again, has a very strong odor, which would suggest to you that, that it's toxic and then kids could inhale this and, and get high. Because huffing is on the increase or rise, uh, and it's readily available, uh, parents don't know what to look for. Cooking wines, Cool Whip, natural herbs, uh, lots of people will entertain, and they use sterno. It's important to understand that age of first use is going down. And so it's not a, you know, when we think, when I think about when I was growing up, it was probably somewhere in the mid or later teens at least. Uh, what we're seeing now is typical age of first use between 11 and 14. Tranquilizers, uh, typically the ones that we see most likely to be abused are benzodiazepines or Valium or Xanax, that kind of product. Antiseptic towels, hand sanitizer, colognes, fingernail polish. A lot of the mouthwashes are higher in alcohol. The other thing that you might find in a garage, uh, particularly one that's attached to a house, is you might find that's where your storage is. Uh, cleaning supplies, fuels, paint thinners, alcohol beverages, craft supplies, huffing gasoline. The other thing is, again, when you're putting stuff out, don't put it out in large quantities. So again, you're, you, you know, be, be aware of storage, you know, how much you have in storage. And, and again, only, and, and, and so you can monitor how much is being used, whether things are disappearing, and that seems unusual. It's, it's almost like inventory control, so to speak. 